Welcome back. Now, the world of fashion has seen the decline in consumer spending power and the cancellation of fashion shows around the world with brands such as Gucci, Dior and Chanel postponing its fashion collection debuts as the virus fears have banned the social gatherings of individuals. As the fears start to settle in throughout the world, many social gatherings production, production and creations and manufacturing is also experiencing a slowdown. Now today in e-magazine we look at the impact COVID-19 has had on the global fashion market. Joining me today to have this conversation is Lisa Christopherson who is an entrepreneur within the fashion space. She deals with interior designing as well as event organizing. Thank you so much for making time to join me. Now let's just jump right into the conversation. Um, I want to get to know how coronavirus, how the coronavirus has, uh, pandemic has affected you, you and your business directly. Now, what has been the most difficult thing for your business right now throughout this period of, you know, the coronavirus pandemic? Wow. And do you see um, this changing in the next few months or you just feel like the future right now is uh, kind of unpredictable? That's very. I'm actually quite happy you brought that up, but we'll come back to that later on. I just wanted to get to know, you know, you've been in the fashion industry for quite a while now, especially in Kenya. Um, but when you look at it globally, what would you say are some of the negative trends we should expect to see, um, especially during this period of COVID-19 or even after um, COVID-19 is over? And even having mentioned that, you can clearly see when you look at the news, one of the, the major countries that have been affected by COVID-19 are the fashion statement countries like China, Italy itself. And you meaning that, you know, because you had mentioned China is one of the major suppliers for materials, right, globally. So now, obviously, with that happening, with COVID-19 happened, a lot of stores have closed down, people are not working, there's that supply, supply chain that's being put in hold. Are you experiencing something of the similar to you on your end? An opportunity to start a positive trend as Kenyans, you know, making our own products and materials right here at home so we're not struggling with what overseas, um, um, individuals overseas are going through right now. Now, you had mentioned earlier, and this is a perfect time for, you know, fashion entrepreneurs to 
you know, jump on the social media trend right now, use social media platforms to, to sell their products. Um, is this something you're doing right now? That's, that's amazing. That's actually, you just basically answered the question of some of the strategies these designers can take in order to, you know, get through this pandemic they're going through right now. Now, I want to move on to uh, talk about whether you think that a big number of fashion entrepreneurs are going to struggle with getting their business afloat after this coronavirus pandemic. Now, moving on, what are some of the steps fashion entrepreneurs should be able to take? Um, you know, the full, of course, looking at what we're going through right now um, globally, their financial losses. You just said sales have stopped because you've closed your shops down, or you've closed the shops for the moment. Um, how should fashion entrepreneurs be able to deal with the financial losses that come with such a pandemic? Great. Now, Lisa, my last question for you today, I'm sadly we're coming to the end of our conversation, but where do you see the future of the Kenyan fashion industry going or being from where you stand? We, should we be expecting masks from you? Wonderful. Thank you so much for making time, Lisa, to have this conversation with me. I really appreciate it. Safe. <laughs> well, there you have it. That was a conversation on how the coronavirus has um, impacted the fashion industry globally. Now we're going to take a short commercial break, but do not go anywhere because I have movie reviews right after this. <laughs> 